Now watch this. Available. Say available. Available. Bold. Bold. What's the next thing? Compassion. Compassion. Now compassion is not sor- is not worldly sorrow. There's a difference. I feel sorry for you. That's not godly compassion. Godly compassion comes out of your spirit. It, it's something that's that's in you. That it's a, it's a, it's the it's God stirring your spirit, moving your spirit. Because just feeling sorry for people doesn't matter. And sometimes, listen, you know, are you doing all right tonight? You guys are good. God will use your personality and the way that you are. And you'll think that, you know, compassion has to look a certain way, but it don't really need to look a certain way. You want me to be honest with you? Some people think Brother Charlie's a little rough and gruff. Can you believe that? <laughs> well, Brother Charlie didn't need more compassion. Well, sometimes the personality, God will use your personality, and compassion doesn't mean, oh, I just feel for you. Sometimes it can be like that. Some people will look at S- Sister Coolman. And say, wow, what a compassionate lady. You know, she would hug them. She would love on the sick. She would even sometimes cry over them. Amy Simple was that same way. That's kind of that line, you know. There's like a lineage of the anointing that flows down through Mother Mother Edder. Went into uh, Amy Simple, flowed through Catherine Coleman. We see it similarly on Benny Hinn. It's that kind of flow. It's almost like the dove. But then you got these other ones that are kind of rough. It doesn't mean they don't have compassion. Right? I mean, Wigglesworth. Wigglesworth. One time, you, now don't tell anybody. We went to we went to Wigglesworth's house. We also went to his church that at the time we were living in England was bought out by Muslims and didn't think that a, that um, that that it was going to get bought by Christians. They were going to turn it into a mosque. So I stood on the steps. Don't tell anybody. It's owned by Christians now. They bought it out, so they're fixing. It. They fixed it. But uh, I was on the steps where where um, <laughs> where 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 Wigglesworth took his wife Polly when she was walking out of the church. She dropped dead. He said, "Woman, I need your help. You can't die now." Picked her up, slammed her against the door of the church, and said, "Get up." She fell down again. He picked her up again and slammed her. You say, there's not very much compassion in that. But he needed some help. He needed his helpmate. He was like, woman, you ain't dying yet. Get up. So he picked her up, slammed her, and she came back into her body. Now, don't tell anybody, but I got a little, I just got a little, like, feisty in my spirit. And I figured that, you know, the miracle happened right there. In these steps. So I ripped a piece of the foundation off, and I took it home with me. At the time, I thought to myself, these Muslims ain't having this piece right here. This is church history. I was justified in doing it. Don't get mad at her, brother, because he would, you know, I just took a little hammer to it and just ripped it off. Made sure nobody was watching. 
Now I thought that's, 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 you know, that's a part of my heritage. Devil is a liar. I'm taking a piece of this. And see, certain types of anointings you'll be attracted to as well. And I've just always been attracted to that stream. I mean, almost every, you know, when it comes to healing and deliverance and, and miracles and impartations that I've received, that is really the lineage. It's, G, it's John G. Lake. It's Smith Wigglesworth. That's kind of the line and the lineage that um, I've always had impartation from. And so Wigglesworth would do crazy things. He would, you know, punch tumors. One time he kicked a baby. I'm not saying kick a baby or punch somebody because you might do it in the flesh and get punched back. But if the Lord is on it, if the devil is attacking someone, Wigglesworth stood in front of this man who had a tumor protruding out of his body. And he reared back and punched that tumor as hard as, he, as hard as he could. Somebody just got nervous. I'm not punching anybody tonight. <laughs> but the compassion of the Lord came upon him. And it, what looked like violence in the natural was actually the demonstration of, of heaven. He reared back and punched the guy. The guy dropped. And the doctor that was there said, you killed him. Wigglesworth said, he's eeled. See, he said, he, would say, he couldn't say, he, that's how he talked. He didn't say he, he's healed. He said, he's eeled. You killed him. No, he's eeled. You killed him. No, he's eeled. Punched him. The guy drops dead. Two minutes later, he jumps up, completely healed by the power of God. Hallelujah. How many of you know Jack Coe? Brother Jack Coe. The miracle evangelist who was mightily used in the 1950s was also a very rough, gruff guy. In fact, he would take crutches and snap them over, over, over his leg and throw them. There's pictures of crutches literally strapped to, to the pulpit that he preached from. And, you know, <laughs> I was told a story that one time he, he, he prayed for a man who, um, who was in a, who was, should I tell this story, Lord? One time he prayed for a man, and he pulled him out of the wheelchair. The guy started running, and he said, he, he grabbed him. He said, get out of the wheelchair. He pulled him out of the wheelchair and said, you're healed. He started running. He ran to the side of the tent, fell over dead, face first, face plant in the mud. Jack Coe jumped off the stage, ran over to the man, and said, I didn't tell you to die. I told you to run. And he kicked the guy as hard as he could. And the man got up and started running. As Heidi Baker says, love looks like something. And the church said, Amen. Amen. But again, notice this with the life of Smith Wigglesworth, Wigglesworth never operated in word of knowledge. He worked in the laying on of hands. Jack Cole, laying on of hands. One, once uh, I was told by R.W. Shambach that. Um, that he was in a back room after a meeting with, with uh, Jack Coe. And Jack Coe had um, lined up 
a hundred wheelchairs in the night of this meeting and went down through the line and started pulling people out of the wheelchairs one after another, saying, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. A hundred wheelchairs just going down, gift of faith and operation. Laying hands, telling them to get up, 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 get up. Sixty of them stood up and walked, instantly healed by the power of God. The others did not get healed. They actually fell and laid in the mud. Now listen to me tonight. He was in the back room with some preachers. And the preacher said to him, said, how could you have done that? Don't you see those people that are out there that didn't get healed in the mud? And R.W. told me, he said, Jack Cole looked at him and said, we didn't get a hundredfold tonight, but at least we got 60. Compassion will say that we're going to go after it even if we don't get a hundredfold. And that night those 60 got up instantly healed. The others weren't healed. They fell in the mud. And what would seem to be an act of no love was actually the compassion of the Lord that would say, I'm going to continue to go after it. Even if these don't get healed, we're going to see all these get healed. And then the, night, uh, the next night they can come back and we're going to pray for them again. But don't allow the spirit of religion to try to put on you a false love. That will tell you that you don't love people because, you, 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 because of your aggression of going after miracles. God will put that anointing on you and you just got to go with what God has given you and leave the results up to Him. But at the end of the day, there's going to be something that's going to happen. Come on, somebody. So the key is availability, it's boldness, it's compassion, and then also it's being with Jesus. 